your girl IJ of Cook with IJ and today's episode I'm going to be showing you how to make vegetable okra. Please if you are new to my channel do not forget to click on the notification bell and the subscribe button so that when I make new uploads you'll be the first to see them. However, these are my ingredients in a trough form before I process them and here I have some already cooked meat. I have my meat stock. I have my dried fish and stock fish. I have my bulb of onion. I have some red peppers. I have some ground crayfish. I have my grounded obono and some seasoning cubes. Okay. Now I have my red oil, my palm oil, my ozza leaves, and my pumpkin leaf, which is ugu leaf, and my main ingredient, which is my okra. So I have gone ahead to prepare them so that we don't waste so much time. All right, if you are very conversant with my page, you know that I don't like to waste too much time. So, first thing we're going to do is adding some palm oil into our pot. And remember, we're cooking on low heat, so we just give it a quick stir so that our oil can dissolve properly. And when you see that the oil is beginning to smoke out a little, then you know it's time for you to add in your chopped onions. Please don't add in pepper at this time, I beg, so that you don't choke in your house. All right, that was not the access to it. So just add in your onions and give it a quick stir. When you see that your onion has fried a little just like this, you add in your oven up. Right? Thank you. So just go in with your oven up, then stir a little bit because we don't want it to burn and then add in your meat stock. So a lot of people have different ways of doing this. Some people will say, oh, after adding your meat stock, you can cover your pot. Or after adding your meat stock, you leave your pot open so that your oven up will form or it will not form. My darling, however way you choose to do with your obono will definitely form unless your obono is bad. So now I'm checking my obono and I'm giving it the quick stir and I'm adding my grounded pepper. After I've added my ground pepper, I'll add my seasoning cubes and my ground crayfish. Reason is because we want all our ingredients incorporated in our soup properly. We want our soup to be very, very delicious. We don't want to eat rubbish. Then I'll go ahead and add in my stock fish and my dry fish. Remember, we haven't added in our okra yet because we still want that okra to have its crunchy, crunchy taste. But follow me. Then add in some water because our mono is already thick, and you know this is not the end product of the soup. So we want it a little bit light. So here I want some more pepper in my food, and that was why I added some more ground pepper and I added my salt. Remember, I always say taste for salt, okay? Please always taste for salt when you're cooking and don't add excess salt. It's better for the salt to be lesser than for it to be over. So I'm just going to cover it so that it will bring to a boil after I'll check and add in my meat. Okay? Give it another quick stir and cover. Now I'm going to check it because it is almost time for me to add in my okra. And I'm just going to go in with my okra and just gradually, gradually, gradually and I'll give it another stir, alright? Now that we've added the okra, the soup is not going to stay up to 5 minutes again before we take it out because we don't want our okra to be really, really soft. Some people prefer to cook their okra that way or blend it entirely, but nah, that's not what we want, okay? So, I'll give it a thorough stir. See how beautiful it is looking. I mean, you should be in my kitchen right now so that you see how <laughs> the aroma is everywhere. I know my entire household cannot just wait to taste this. So because my soup is too thick, I have to go in with some water, all right? So it depends on your on your discretion. Use your discretion however you want it. But just look at the way my soup is boiling. <laughs> look at that. Very beautiful. Okay, so it's time for us to go in with our vegetables some people prefer not to add in vegetables but i always add vegetables i mean you can never have too much of vegetables right so i'll just go in with my vegetables my ugu leaf and my uziza leaf always use according to the way you like it i always like a lot of vegetables in my food so it's never enough for me it's never too much for me either so however you like it all right just do it the way you like it now that we've added our our ugu leaf and our uzita leaf this has come to the end of the video and <laughs> trust me on this side i'm always doing either gary or semo because i have to taste this food i can't just leave it like that so we we'll have to just turn off our cooker and serve this Ugh. Uh, no, you 
it should be in my kitchen i mean but the detail is not doing enough justice to this just look at how beautiful that is this is if you enjoyed watching my videos do not forget to give me a like do not forget to comment and do not forget to subscribe thank you for staying in i love you